Oh my god, what's down there? Stop it! How's it going? Maybe it's gonna come to life and scare me. Wow, very nice place to come chill. I'm nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And your name? Bonifacio Global City, aka BGC, or better known as Modern Manila. This place is home to many cafes, many fancy restaurants, and it's of course Manila's financial district. We're gonna be exploring today. We're gonna eat some food, we're gonna get some drinks and see some tall skyscrapers. <laughs> Let's go. Now right off the bat, the first thing that you notice is this giant screen. You see, you could put your little advertising there. I believe they have maybe like 3D stuff coming out of it sometimes. Not really sure, but this is where you know you're kind of in downtown area, right? And then of course you have the big massive wide roads. Kind of different from the other parts of Manila where the roads are tiny and a bit dirty. Over here, very clean, right? Now, we can either go this way, we can go that way, or this way. But you know what, since we're already here, let's explore. I believe this is called the High Street, and I think this is kind of like a chill area, right? You have the little Adidas store over there, you have beautiful trees, massive trees, nice little gardens over here too, right? And of course, you have a little heart statue over there. Very nice, super clean. Ah, BGC built out of flowers. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. I wonder if they're real. No, they're fake. <laughs> it's okay. I thought they were real for a second. It would have been nice if they were real, but hey, it is what it is. You want to know how we're in a luxury place? Rolex. That's how you know. That's how you know this place is fancy, okay? But I also like these little fun touches that they put here. It's like a little water fountain. One and two over there and a nice little water bowl for the cats and dogs that's so thoughtful right you always like to see animals being fed but wow just check out this place a massive walkway i think right now we're a bit too early it's about 10 in the morning and this place really hasn't picked up yet but i believe when evening comes this place actually gets super super busy yeah it, it definitely looks like one of those types of vibes because you have like the fancy cafes up there little nice patio on the rooftop where you can eat on this side and on that side and of course so much chilling area all around right but but guys let's not forget the tall skyscrapers this isn't downtown without tall skyscrapers you have Shangri-La over there you have Ascot in for PSE Many of those places, I don't know what they are, but I'm just talking, you know? Okay, let's cross this massive street. That's a huge walkway for people, right? So it kind of goes to show you how busy this place gets later on during the day. Guys, look what I just found. It looks like a statue. I don't know if it's actually a statue. As a rifle, maybe it's going to come to life and scare me. Okay, no. <laughs> it's an actual statue. Now one thing that I like to do anytime I'm in a brand new city is check out their cafes because every sort of little area has their own special feel to it. You know what I mean? And I feel like BGC would have a special feel type of cafe around. Hello po, kamustaka, good morning. Very good, ingat po. Yeah, so let's go find a cafe for us. Over here I see little latte, little cappuccino. Let's go in. Cold. Ah, we got it on the first try. Nice little cozy area, right? Nice little cozy area. Very, I would say, kind of like high fashion stuff. Hello, po. Kamustaka. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm here for some coffee. Wow, look at this massive menu. You can't mess it. Look at it. It's huge. I love it. Okay, okay. Iced coffee on a hot day. We have iced coffee, we have sparkling raspberry. What else? We have a little cafe latte. Okay, what would you suggest? Maybe iced coffee or cafe latte? Which is your suggestion? Iced coffee. Iced coffee? We're gonna go with your suggestion. Let's do it. <laughs> is that for here or where to go? Huh. You know what? Let's do it for here. Okay. Thank you. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Canada. Okay. You're from Manila? Yes, sir. Ah, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Exploring BGC for the first time for today. The first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how long? It's uh, three weeks. 
three weeks? Three weeks, yeah. It's almost finished. I just discovered this place a few days ago. They were telling me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna check it out. What is the name? It's pronounced Malongo? Yeah. Malongo. Malongo. Um, uh, it's a French coffee shop. Ah, French coffee yeah. shop. Interesting. It's like a little French cafe, right? And you have the croissants over here. A little bit of croissants. You have the white cookies. Nice clean cups. Wow. I like the color play. It's like a red and black sort of feel to it, right? And so many different places to sit. Amazing. Okay, so like many fancy places that I realized in uh, Philippines, you get a buzzer. It's nice, right? And I just want to show you guys around a bit. Here you have kind of like the wooden chair areas. You have this long pad. I feel like it's a nice place to come and do some work, right? And on this side, this is probably my favorite side over here. You kind of have like a little chill zone. Wow, very nice picture frame, sort of chandeliers, lights. And we're gonna make ourselves cozy over here. Wow, take a look at that. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, Kuya. By the way, sir, uh, blogger? Yes. What's the name of your channel? Travel Chronicles. Travel Chronicles. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. What is your name? Joseph. Nice to meet you. Wow, check out, look at this. Massive, right? Usually in fancy places, you kind of get smaller, smaller portions, but this is huge. Take a look at it. Oh, it's strong. It is strong. And I like how they serve it in like, <laughs> on a little nice platter, but you know what? I just found the coolest little thing. Check this out over here. Coffee beans, right on the side. This is how they make their coffee. I always appreciate the subtle touches the cafes put in their stores and their you know little shops and wow very nice place to come chill I could totally see this being very busy later on in the day and people just coming here doing some work relaxing with their friends enjoying some coffee hanging out you know let's see if we can chug this down Get every last bit of the drop that coffee was delicious thank you so much have a great day take care bye bye very nice meeting you have a good day Kuya. Way, delicious delicious thank fantastic you. take care thank, have a good day. thank you so much have a great day fantastic <laughs> such nice people as well right <laughs> let's see where else the day takes us guys now as i'm walking this path i can't really tell whether bgc is the more modern area in manila or whether Makati is the more modern area in Manila. Honestly, they both look extremely high tech, very similar to the West, kind of like New York, kind of like Toronto. It rivals it, right? As you can tell, you have the beautiful fountains, whole lot of greenery, very nice glass. It's, hello, hello, Paul, kamusta ka? <laughs> and apparently extremely nice security. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Thank you. They're they're welcoming us. What is your name? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'd like to meet my good friend. Nice I'm to meet you. Australia. Nice to meet you, sir. And your name? Uh, Ronaldo Masolo. Ronaldo Masolo. Very nice. And your name? Albert. Albert. My channel, I go. And my good friend too. And your good friend over yes. there. Hello, sir. Hello. Wow. I love it. I love it. The security and police officers here in Manila. Number one. So nice. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Look at that. The kind of energy that we need. Hello, sir. Hello. Kamusta ka? Guys, look at that skyscraper over there. It kind of gives you like a New York, Manhattan feel. And then on this side, you have the blue glass stained little condos. Beautiful residential condo over there. And a nice little wall of painting. It kind of looks like a little tree branch. But what I kind of want to say is, man, those security guards. I noticed like the security guards in Philippines are so nice. Some of them actually have rifles on them as well and they treat you with nothing but respect. Always, hello, hello, sir. You know what I mean? It's so different from the West because our authority isn't as nice. I'll just say it that way. But here, Philippines, wow. And look at this, very cool. Look at this little bench. It's like two hands holding it, right? I wonder if it's comfy. 
I mean, it's a hard bench. Not the comfiest, but you know what? If you want to sit for like two seconds, it's still good. Hello, Paul. Kamustaka. <laughs> I love it. People waving from the truck. And of course, a little McDonald's. You know what? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Let's get something to eat. I think this is where we want to be. Little nice breakfast spot. Hello. No problem, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Hello, Paul. What's up, bro? Kamustaka, Paul. What's up, eh? How's it going? What's your name? Richard. Richard, nice to meet you. I'm PK. Hey. Hey. You guys serve breakfast? Yeah. The best okay. breakfast in all of uh, Manila? Hey, okay, I like that. You can also order flabby pancakes. It is three layers. Okay. And an a la part of an egg. Eggs. Where's that one? Where's the a la? Additional. Oh, additional. Okay, you know what? I'll do one fluffy pancakes and uh, the two freestyle eggs, please. Uh, for the eggs, is it sunny side up? Sunny side up, okay. yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Check this out, guys. Food has arrived. Look at this. Tiny little pancakes. Three layers. One, two, three. You got the little syrup, maple syrup, I believe. A little bit of chocolate flake right around. And here's our eggs. Interesting. Two little eggs in like circular form. And a nice touch of leaf. Ooh, I'm hungry. Oh my god. Okay, so let's start with maybe the pancakes. Ah, check this out. All right, we gotta get this like drizzling in here, you know? Oh yeah, this is looking good. Mighty fine. We got our fork, we got our knife. Ah, super fluffy, super fluffy. First taste of a pancake. Ooh, smells delicious. Oh yeah, very well worth the wait. Super fluffy. Mm. Very mild. It's like light little pancake fluff clouds right in your mouth. And then you add the maple syrup. Mm. Delicious. Alright, let's check out how they made this egg over here. Oh, you see that? Just opening up. The yolk is like super oozy. Nice. That is a perfect egg, my friend. Perfect eggs. Let's see, I'm, I was struggling to get the egg right on my fork, but... Oh yeah. And very yolky. Mixed with yolk. Nice little white, cooked to perfection. Mmm. This is like the perfect little breakfast. You have like pancake and eggs. Haven't had this combo in a very, very long time. Maybe since I was back in Canada. Oh. Amazing. All right, we absolutely crushed this over here. It's so delicious. Gave us the energy that we needed. Little breakfast action here in BGC. Let's pay up and out we go. Sorry guys, my camera died in there, but I was gonna say our breakfast only cost us 130 pesos, which I was expecting it to cost us a lot more, but I think I got lucky with the place that I chose. Anyways, delicious breakfast. But now, I think I kind of want to explore uptown BGC. You know what? Let's make our way across. Let's make our way across if it's safe. Yep. Uh, no, no lights around here, so I believe traffic kind of has to yield for pedestrians. Now, another thing that I noticed is that around here, I've noticed a lot more tourists as well. A lot more expats, a lot more maybe digital nomads. And I think this is kind of like their hub. This is where they kind of come to set up because perhaps maybe they feel safer here. And it does have a much safer vibe compared to maybe like, of course, Tondo and other places. But I totally see it. Now, as I keep going, it just gets fancier and fancier, right? You have the Grand Hyatt Manila. You have Uptown Ritz residence over there. Look at those towers. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're just filled. The streets are filled with skyscrapers, right? Oh my God. What's down there? It looks, it looks hustling and bustling down there. I want to check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. First of all, let's check out this space. Very beautiful, right? 
not really sure what this is but super nice designs all over the building yeah i definitely think we are we're in the uptown area for sure for sure surrounded by massive towers everywhere and the people here have a really good fashion sense as well as i keep walking down i see people in like either fashion clothes or dress shirts stuff like that and then also you get some people who are jogging <laughs> it's like a little bit of jog in a nice area mega world uptown mall so i didn't know this was a mega mall i knew it was uptown mall but not a mega mall however check this out what a beautiful outdoors area right you kind of feel like you're in the jungle check out these trees and of course look at the nice little fountains i bet the view in those restaurants are absolutely gorgeous let's get inside i don't know if they allow cameras but i'm gonna sneak you guys in i think they were kind of busy to check my bags but it's okay it's not like i have anything bad in here wow this place is insane look at this mall oh my god the design right you already have like a prada milano right in the center right in the center of the mall very cool yeah i feel like this is gonna be one of those like super luxury malls right i can already see it check this out massive trees spanning up and down they even have a little star wars store look at this <laughs> a store dedicated for star wars and you got one of those like little <laughs> stormtroopers in there very cool very cool interesting i've never seen something like that before all right check it out very clean for sure very clean for sure very luxurious four floors but i wouldn't call this a mega mall uh i would say the mall of asia was way bigger also the one that we went to in bangkok was way bigger this one's just very nice very elegant right and you can see they have the samsung over here little samsung store whole lot of digital stores on that side as well which is always good and of course a lot of cafes oh check this out they have an entire terrace where people come and chill right up on the mall very nice see this is like the kind of nice touch that you like to see in a mall right where they care about the people enough to build sort of stuff like this so you can just come hang out with your friends right and have a good old time very nice very nice wow and you can literally see the skyscrapers right from this rooftop patio amazing i kind of want to see what it looks like down there is this the view that we want wow just check out this view over here from the rooftop patio amazing amazing absolutely beautiful really so i really wanted to show you guys this area right here on the rooftop it's kind of like a little mini village right you have the pancake house right here with a little outdoor terrace little bit of nice places to sit you have the gardens very cool right very cool check out this kind of art it feels like you're in italy or something right and this is literally painted on the bricks very nice super nice super nice you can either sit here right here or you can sit by the garden i really like it as i take one last look at the bgc area before i go back to my place i gotta say guys i'm extremely impressed 